we have assembled this morning to wish you, dear students, a very happy Children's Day. Though we are celebrating your day through a virtual platform, we hope that you will gain the very essence of the short service specially prepared for you. 14th November marks the birthday of our first Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. His bond, as well as his fondness of children, is legendary. He believed that the children of today will make the India of tomorrow. The way we bring them up will determine the future of our country. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru considered children as the real strength of the nation and foundation of society. Hence, today we ask you, dear children, to take the time to enjoy and embrace your childhood life as you go along achieving your dreams. A reading from the Gospel of St. Matthew At that time, the disciples came to Jesus asking, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? So Jesus called a child, made him stand in front of them and said, I assure you that unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. The greatest in the kingdom of heaven is the one who humbles himself and becomes like this child. And whoever welcomes in my name one such child as this welcomes me. If anyone should cause one of these little ones to lose his faith in me, it would be better for that person to have a large millstone tied round his neck and be drowned in the deep sea. The word of the Lord. I am speaking to God. Your response is, Lord, bless our children. Lord, Lord bless, bless our children. children. God, our Maker, we thank you for the gift of our children. May they grow up in love and under your protection. We pray that you would bless each child abundantly. We place before you all the younger ones who are still very dependent on adults for their well-being. May they be blessed with whatever they need. Your response Lord, bless our children. Lord God, we pray for all our teenage children. May they know your goodness and provision. We pray that they would place their identity in you. May they know and experience you as the rock to stand on when they face pressure. We pray that through the challenges of school life, exams, and future decisions, they would find you leading and guiding them. Your response? Lord, bless our children. Almighty God, we thank you for your grace in guiding us as teachers to play a significant role in the lives of young minds. We pray for our children to know great care and support from those around them. May they be encouraged by friends at school or home. May they show your love and care and be true to their circle of friends. Your response? Lord, Lord bless our children. God, we place all children in our country who have lost a parent or both parents to COVID-19. May they continue to experience love and support from the people who care for them now. We also pray for all children who have been abandoned or abused. May each child be filled with your grace, healing and beauty so that even when they feel their pain or loss, they will continue to move on in faith and strength. Your response? Lord, bless our children. 
We also pray for children all over the world. Lord, may people all over the world accept and preserve each child as a sign of your infinite love for us. May each child have an angel to guard and protect them from all harm and injustice. Your response? Lord, bless our children. For all of us in the Loretto family, may we grow in values and understand each child under our care. Lord God, may children find in us your spirit of understanding and patience, especially when they need it the most. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. Lord, bless us all. <laughs> 